So in the last lecture, we talked about phase portraits for linear systems. And uh, if uh, uh, this kind, this shape of uh, uh, phase portrait, which is uh, which has a shape like spiral, and this one as well, these are called focus. If uh, the trajectories are uh, decaying down to the equilibrium point, then this kind of uh, focus is called stable focus, and the other one is unstable focus when trajectories uh, grow to become unbounded. Uh, this type of uh, uh, phase portrait. Uh, and this one as well. These are called nodes. One is stable node and other is unstable node. In case of stable node, trajectories converge to the equilibrium point uh, without uh, showing any oscillation. And in case of unstable nodes, uh, the trajectories become unbounded uh, without showing uh, any oscillatory uh, behavior. This type of phase portrait is called center. Uh, it uh, implies uh, oscillatory behavior in time domain and uh, uh, this kind of phase portrait uh, this is called uh, saddle and uh, only for certain set of initial conditions trajectories will reach to the equilibrium point for all other initial conditions response will become unbounded practically saddles are also unstable so, based on this knowledge, we would like to analyze the behavior of nonlinear systems using phase portraits. And in last lecture, we talked about this example of a pendulum. Equation of a pendulum is uh, given by this relation, and it has two equilibrium points: one at origin and other equilibrium point at uh, this uh, point, upright position. This equilibrium point, uh, this plus pi and minus pi these are two different equilibrium points uh, one means there will be positive rotation uh, to reach at that uh, inverted position and uh, the, the other one means a rotation in negative direction and then the pendulum reaches in inverted position and this uh, uh, equilibrium point means there is one complete rotation uh, uh, before uh, this uh, pendulum reaches at the equilibrium point uh, plus 2 pi means rotation in positive direction and minus 2 pi means rotation in negative direction. The phase portrait of this system, this pendulum system is given over here. Uh, one equilibrium point at uh, origin 0, 0, the second equilibrium point at pi 0, third equilibrium point at 2 pi 0 and uh, likewise there is an equilibrium point at minus pi 0 and minus 2 pi 0. Yes, uh, even you have uh, more equilibrium points, so this graph will extend towards right as well as towards left. So this equilibrium point uh, is uh, a stable uh, focus. This one is also a stable focus. This is also a stable focus. This equilibrium point and this one, these are saddle. It means that uh, for uh, certain initial conditions, for example, this if this is initial condition, then response of the system will settle down to this equilibrium point after showing some oscillatory behavior. Uh, here only for certain set of initial conditions which lie on for example uh, this uh, line as well as on this line. For those initial conditions trajectories will finally converge to this equilibrium point. For all other initial conditions trajectories will diverge away from this equilibrium point. So again, uh, practically, there are always disturbances that will cause the trajectories to move slightly away from uh, this, for example, this uh, uh, trajectory. And then even if it moves slightly towards uh, right or towards left, it will either converge to this equilibrium point or to this equilibrium point. Similarly, uh, so this uh, uh, equilibrium point is stable focus. Uh, this equilibrium point is saddle. This is also stable focus. Similarly, uh, we, if we talk about uh, another nonlinear system, which is uh, the tunnel diode circuit, uh, you are well familiar with the, these electrical circuits. You have a resistor, inductor, and capacitor. And in parallel with capacitor, you have connected a tunnel diode. What is a tunnel diode? Uh, right, for tunnel diode. 
uh, the voltage versus current vi characteristics are given by this graph initially if you increase voltage current increases through current through this diode increases further increase in voltage will result into decrease in the current and then a further increase in voltage will again result into increase in the current through the diode so this particular diode is uh, the tunnel diode and uh, this uh, nonlinear relation between voltage and current this is given by this mathematical equation this x1 uh, is voltage uh, we have taken uh, to model this system we can take uh, two states uh, the current through the inductor and voltage across capacitor so we see uh, which is uh, also the voltage across this uh, tunnel diode that is one state uh, we named at named it as uh, x1 and current through this uh, uh, this thing that is a uh, uh, function of this voltage across uh, this uh, diode so that is given by this relation there is a nonlinear relation between voltage across the diode and current flowing uh, current h of x is the current current flowing through that diode so how to obtain mathematical model for this electrical circuit so we can write uh, the current balance equation uh, the techniques that you have already studied x1 dot is given by this relation what is x1 x1 we have taken it to be uh, voltage across this uh, capacitor so what is relation for voltage across the capacitor 1 over c and integral of the current which is flowing through that uh, the capacitor x2 is current through this inductor current uh, through this inductor is uh, x2 and h of x is current through this diode then voltage across the capacitor that is equal to what is this current ic ic is the difference between these two currents this current is into the node this current is out of the node this current is also out of the node so this current minus this current is ic the current through capacitor and then uh, this equation this uh, is the current through the capacitor and 1 over c and this is uh, the derivative of the voltage across the capacitor is it clear uh, what is x2 dot x2 dot is current uh, x2 is basically current through inductor you remember the mathematical procedure to obtain mathematical modeling we have taken this voltage as one state current through this inductor as second state so current through inductor what is uh, what is relation for current and voltage in a conductor so ldi by dt is equal to voltage across uh, that inductor so if you take uh, here this is di by dt and l on this side uh, becomes 1 over L over here and this is voltage across uh, the inductor how is it is voltage across the inductor this voltage is equal to voltage uh, across uh, this thing by applying KVL uh, then there is voltage uh, this voltage and then this voltage so sum of this voltage this voltage this voltage and this voltage that is equal to zero and therefore this voltage is equal to this voltage uh, here is drop here is rise so negative sign and uh, here is also uh, voltage across this resistor so this is voltage across resistor this is voltage across capacitor and this u is voltage of this battery so anyway over here we are not studying mathematical modeling of physical systems we have some system which is described by this nonlinear 
these uh, nonlinear state equations. Uh, we have taken some numerical values of capac uh, capacitance and inductance, uh, and uh, the same equations are rewritten over here. And uh, equilibrium points can be very easily determined uh, by substituting the derivatives equal to zero and then solving these two equations for x1 and x2. So, you already know how to solve uh, algebraic equations. Uh, for example, from here, find uh, x2 as a function of x1 and then replace it over here, uh, solve the equation, uh, and then uh, you will have these equilibrium points. These equilibrium points. Uh, this is first equilibrium point, second equilibrium point, and third equilibrium point. There are three equilibrium points uh, for this particular system. Phase portraits are given over here. Again, we uh, still do not know how to uh, plot these por phase portraits. However, we uh, have gained enough knowledge to analyze the behavior of systems using phase portraits. So, here is uh, one equilibrium point at uh, 0 0.063 and 0 0.758. Here is point uh, on horizontal axis, this thing, on vertical axis, something near 0 0.7, right? The second equilibrium point is over here, third equilibrium point is over here. So, what is behavior of a uh, system near this equilibrium point? So, what do you think? What is the uh, type of this equilibrium point? Uh, types which we have already studied that is a uh, focus, uh, node, saddle. So, it is node. It is node. All the trajectories, uh, for example, this trajectory finally converges to this equilibrium point, this trajectory, this trajectory. Uh, all the trajectories uh, which start uh, from near this equilibrium point, these converge to this equilibrium point. So, this is a stable node. What about this equilibrium point? This is also a stable node, right? Uh, what about this equilibrium point? Saddle. For certain initial conditions, trajectories converge to this equilibrium point. For all other initial conditions, trajectories uh, converge to some other equilibrium point. So, this equilibrium point is a stable node. The second one is saddle and uh, the third one is also a stable node. So, now by looking at the phase portrait of this system, we can uh, describe the qualitative behavior of uh, this system. Yes. There are only three equilibrium points. Uh, here, this equation is uh, uh, this equation is a fifth order equation. Fifth order equation. Uh, this equation, uh, it means that this equation, uh, this one, what will be order of this equation? Here, h of x is given by this expression. So, this equation will also be a fifth order equation. Fifth order equation ke kitne roots hote hain? There will be five roots for that fifth order equation. That is, if you substitute x2 here from this expression, you will have a fifth order equation uh, over here, fifth order equation in terms of x1, and there will be five roots corresponding to those five roots, you will find uh, x2. So, you will observe that some of these roots uh, are not the real roots. If the roots are not real roots, that means those are not the equilibrium points. So, only three roots uh, are real roots. Others are uh, not real roots. Uh, other means two roots are not real roots. So, that is why uh, those are not uh, uh, the equilibrium points. Any other question up to this point? Is it clear? Uh, next, we talk about another uh, system which is given by this equation. 
uh, we have uh, already talked about this equation. This is called uh, Van der Poel equation. After this uh, person, uh, here nonlinearity is due to this term. Epsilon is some uh, constant. The phase portrait for this uh, system uh, is given over here. Uh, how to obtain this phase portrait? We have still not discussed it. However, we have this phase portrait and we want to describe the qualitative behavior of this system. So, what is qualitative behavior of this system? So, it is different from focus. In case of focus, uh, the equilibrium, equilibrium point for this system is at origin. You can easily verify it. If I substitute x1 equal to 0, x2 equal to 0, and uh, that results into left hand side equal to 0. So, equilibrium point of this system is at origin. So, what you see is that it is not a focus. In case of focus, the trajectories finally converge to the equilibrium point. In this case, here the trajectories, uh, for example, this trajectory uh, finally reaches uh, this curve, this curve, and then stays on this curve. Stays on this curve. Likewise, for example, some other initial condition, this initial condition, this uh, grows and then reaches this uh, this uh, this curve this closed curve and then stays on it so what is behavior of this equilibrium this system so uh, we shall uh, you are right but we shall rather not use the word frequency because this uh, is not a uh, sinusoid uh, so it will uh, start the response will be oscillatory with some fixed period uh, and uh, some fixed amplitude. It will not be necessarily a uh, sinusoid because this graph is not exactly a circle. So, this kind of response we call it limit cycle. There is a limit cycle in this particular uh, system. Compare it with the, the phase portrait of center. How it is different from center? one thing that was a circle center was a circle these were concentric circles for different initial conditions the radius of that circle was different so for that is for different initial conditions the amplitude of oscillations uh, were different that was corresponding to marginally stable linear system over here whatever is initial condition you observe that the finally uh, these trajectories reach to this curve and then stay on this curve. So, uh, whatever is initial condition, finally the amplitude of these oscillations will become fixed. And uh, second thing, this is robust. How it is robust? For case of those concentric circles, if for example there was a slight disturbance, uh, then uh, trajectories moved away from that circle and started a new circle. Over here, for example, disturbances cause this trajectory to move from this point to for example this point. So what will happen? After a certain time, again trajectories will converge to this uh, this. Uh, uh, this trajectory, this uh, uh, thing, this orbit and again amplitude will become the same and if disturbance causes uh, this trajectory to move from here to here, so what will happen? Here inside this circle, these trajectories are growing, so trajectory will grow again to reach to this uh, orbit and uh, this kind of uh, phase portrait that is called uh, limit cycle. Limit cycle, there will be oscillations with the fixed period and fixed amplitude. This is robust against disturbances. This uh, phenomena is not there in linear systems, it can only be there in nonlinear systems. Uh, this uh, phase portrait. Uh, uh, is sketched for different values of epsilon, uh, for smaller epsilon, 
there are more, more uh, there are oscillations which are more uh, closer to uh, the sinusoids and for larger epsilon uh, these oscillations are significantly different from sin sinusoids this uh, circle uh, this uh, this thing is uh, near to a circle and this uh, is uh, significantly different from circle so for different values of epsilon these graphs are plotted so this uh, uh, we can have a stable limit cycles and unstable limit cycles uh, this one over here this is called stable limit cycle that is uh, finally uh, trajectories will always converge to this uh, this uh, orbit this will or this orbit whatever our initial conditions uh, trajectories will converge to this orbit there are unstable uh, limit cycles as well that is this orbit does exist however this direction of arrow for example this is uh, upward and uh, this uh, direction of the arrow is opposite to this one so what will happen in that particular case so if there is uh, uh, no disturbance uh, ideally then uh, this initial condition uh, in uh, response to this initial condition there will be oscillatory behavior however if there is slight disturbance that will cause the trajectories to move from for example this point to this point and then it will if the direction of arrow is opposite to this one this will grow to become unbounded and if uh, again if uh, the direction of arrow is opposite to this one and disturbance moves the trajectories from here to here what will happen trajectories will finally converge to the equilibrium point to this uh, this uh, origin right if uh, this direction of uh, the arrow is opposite so that limit cycle is called unstable limit cycle uh, that is uh, this uh, this one is what is this one what is this one this is stable limit cycle and uh, what is this one unstable this direction this is uh, growing and if there is disturbance uh, which reduces the amplitude then that will finally converge to the equilibrium point this is unstable limit cycle there is one more thing which is called uh, semi stable in case of semi stable uh, one of this trajectory this one or this one uh, one of the, them has arrow towards the limit cycle and the other one has uh, direction away from the limit cycle so limit cycle we have already discussed and from phase portraits it is more obvious that why it is robust against disturbances any question up to this point so uh, the question is if initial condition is for example this one what will be the behavior of the system what will be the response of the system in ideal case uh, it will uh, stay on this trajectory on this trajectory and what does that mean ideal case in ideal case what will happen oscillations oscillations it will if there is no disturbance it will stay on this uh, this uh, trajectory and it will keep on rotating uh, on this uh, trajectory means that if we sketch the plot in time domain there will be oscillations with fixed period however if there are some disturbances disturbances will shift the uh, trajectories away from this uh, this uh, this trajectory so shift can be either uh, uh, here out of this uh, limit cycle or inside this limit cycle if uh, that disturbance causes the trajectory for example from this point to move to this point what will happen to the response it will finally converge to the equilibrium point at origin if disturbance causes the trajectory for example from here to move to this point what will happen to the response trajectories will explode become unbounded right so this is unstable limit cycle practically you will not be able to observe this oscillatory behavior because disturbances are always there